Okay, so here's my concept for a briefcase mounted 3D printer. Based on excellent design of SmartRack 3D printer, but with the Z axis and the X axis demountable so it can be stored compactly in a briefcase. Here that secure firmly to the baseboard. And all the cables are included inside the box. At this stage I just have a very small amount of filament inside the box and ultimately I want to get a much smaller power supply so that a small reel of filament could be mounted where this large 30 amp power supply is currently sitting. Just set it warming up. And auto home. So the current uh, build plate is a standard 200 millimeters square uh, mounted on thin strips of wood so ultimately it could have a heat bed fitted underneath. Uh, the extruder is uh, based on um, Wade's extruder scale gears um, but made much more compact to fit underneath the bed. Uh, standard ramps 1.4 and uh, for the hot end I'm using an um, all metal hot end. CD tucked in the box as well. And before I print, I just like to make sure that the extruder is doing its thing. Seems to be extruding fine. So I'm printing today is another uh, M5 uh, knob for a, a M5 nut.
So for the linear bearings on this machine, uh, you may notice I'm not using standard uh, ball bearing race linear bearings. I'm uh, using very much more compact uh, what, what are called uh, DU bushes or, or glacier bearings. So they're a, a thin sheet metal uh, rolled bearing that has uh, Teflon lining. So I find these very uh, suitable for this style of 3D printer. Uh, and they're much more compact, lightweight and uh, considerably cheaper than uh, the ball bearing linear bearings. Uh, the other big advantage is that you're not constrained to using uh, chromed and hardened uh, ground rods. You could use uh, you know, aluminium tubing or brass tubing or um, or unhardened rods. Uh, so at this stage I'm still using uh, spectral line for actuating the X and Y axes. Uh, probably the next enhancement is to move to uh, tooth belt for those axes. At present I'm running my standard um, default settings for speed uh, on Slicer and uh, fairly much standard uh, Marlin firmware settings uh, with the exception of uh, slowing the acceleration down slightly. for a closer look, different angle. Another enhancement that I want to do fairly soon is uh, implement a optical uh, reflective sensor on the head that I can use for auto bed level probing. So at the moment I have a micro switch just on the z-axis but because the design for the smart wrap is uh, quite flimsy it really does need uh, the auto bed leveling to uh, enable larger prints to be done. Um, the initial test prints are all very small scale things, so they print fine just in the centre of the bed without uh, auto bed leveling. That's all there is to it.